All right, well, today we're going to do a, uh, a meatloaf. Ooh. This is kind of my own recipe here. What I've got is uh, we're going to do a pound of ground hamburger, a pound of ground turkey, and uh, a half a pound of ground pork. What I use is a pork loin, and uh, I have a meat grinder. I grind it up myself. And um, the recipe is pretty simple. It's uh, the meats. You have um, half a tablespoon of salt, um, a tablespoon of, I just used a mixed Italian seasoning, it's all good. Um, let's see, uh, a teaspoon of, uh, of pepper. We're going to use uh, three small garlic cloves, three eggs, half a cup of ketchup, half a pack of crackers, and when we'll get to it, about two cups of uh, seasoned breadcrumbs. And that's basically how, how how it goes together. It's pretty easy. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, uh, fire all this stuff into a bowl here. See what we get going. Let's see, get our pork in here. All right. The ground turkey. Now remember, this is something you're gonna want to do with your hands just to get a good consistency out of your loaf. Your hamburger. I'm gonna fire in that garlic gotta have the garlic and uh, it's pretty simple it's just a simple throw it all in there's all of our seasonings um, and get our ketchup in there oh yeah nice ketchup okay and uh, let's get our eggs in one two And three eggs. Okay. All right. Well, since that process required me using two hands, and I don't have uh, help here, what I did was basically I threw in uh, about a cup and a half of breadcrumbs and a half of a pack of crackers. So you got about a half pack. I used saltine crackers just because saltiness helps. It's a lot of meat and all that stuff. And from this point, it's just get on in there and get her all mixed up. And uh, when we get in here, if you find that you ended up just a little bit too dry. Sometimes I add a little fresh chicken stock or something um, just to moisten it up. But most of the time, if it's too dry, it's not too dry. Because um, once this uh, meat starts to cook, a lot of the fat from the meat will take up any dry space that's left. So I'm going to mix all this up real good. And then uh, I'll show you how we uh, form the log and throw it in a pan and get it ready for the oven. It's and giggles. All right. Okay, it's clean. All right, well, basically now we got to the point where she's pretty well mixed up. It's looking pretty good. We're ready to put her in the pan. And what I do is I, I don't have any, like, loaf pans, which is what a lot of people use. I just use a 9x13 cake pan, and I line it in aluminum foil because it makes it a heck of a lot easier to clean up when you're done. And uh, grab our meat out of here. It's kind of rolled into a log. And it's that simple. You kind of want to log and try and keep it even thickness all the way through. Put it in your pan. Kind of form it up. Let's get the bowl out of the way. Kind of form it up so it's the same thickness all the way through. We're pretty close. And make it look pretty and that's it for now. You want to go ahead and put her in the oven for now I kind of slow cook this about uh, 325 for hour and 45 minutes or so, hour and a half, somewhere in there. Use your meat thermometer, make sure you get it to, you know, 140 degrees. Because uh, you do have the pork in there, you want to make sure you get it well cooked. Yeah, truthfully, there hasn't been a case of trigonosis in the USA since the 60s, but you never know, you want to be safe. So, and then that's it, and then I'll show you the topping we make. Uh, what we're going to do is now is make the uh, sauce that I use, the topping for the top of the meatloaf. Again, this is just a hillbilly recipe, man. It's simple and it's stupid. It's real easy. Hi. It would go into the ketchup. Oh yeah. Um, I don't use any proper measurements for this. Just I make what I think is enough to uh, well cover the top of the meatloaf, just to keep my wife happy because she likes a lot of this. All right. That's probably know, a cup and a half of ketchup there. We got a little on the counter there. Here, get that up. All right, <clears throat> a little bit of hot sauce. 
Not a lot, just a little bit. Just add some flavor to it. Um, kind of kind of watch how you do this. Don't want too much. Just a little bit of garlic uh, salt and some fresh pepper. Just some fresh pepper, just a little bit. There we go. That's it. Stir it up and uh, put the last bit in here. What we need. The last thing I do is it adds a little bit of color and a little bit of flavor. I don't, again, I don't use any proper measurements for this. It's just to yeah, eyeball with a little bit of brown sugar. That's probably enough. And then uh, you ain't got to worry about heating this up ahead of time. Just put it on top and then we'll throw it back in the oven as we uh, get down to the end of the cooking cycle. The last uh, 20 minutes or so, we'll warm her up a little extra. Put it at about 450 and throw this on top, let it kind of glaze up, and it'll be good. That's it. That's it. Yeah, we went ahead and did up some uh, baked potatoes, too, with some golden russets. And, yeah, I, I know they're not the standard type of uh, baked potato, but, hey, they come out pretty good. That's all that matters to me, so. All right, so, well, um, yeah, we got our meatloaf here. She looks pretty good. We're going to get ready to put on our topping here, and uh, I was just checking to see where it's at with the meat thermometer. It says, uh, I don't know if you can catch that, but it's right at 165, which is perfect. It's, um, it's not going to be overcooked or nothing. It's going to be perfect. 165 lets me know for sure that, uh, you know, that that uh, pork is well cooked in it. And basically, we're just going to start spooning this stuff on here. Yeah, looks good. Just spoon it on and kind of let it layer on it. You know, I love that butt end. It's nice and crispy butt end. So it's my favorite part of the meatloaf. Alright, we're going to spoon her on here and kind of let it run down the sides and stuff and, and all that. Looks like we got enough of it. So should be plenty. Keep the old lady happy. Alright. I'm gonna finish this, throw it up in the oven, and I'm gonna turn it up to a to a 425 and let it uh, cook up this topping good, and uh, should come out all right. So, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. The baked potatoes are in the oven; they're cooking up, and uh, we did get one more uh, one more additive to our dinner here. Show you real fast. I'm going to start steaming these here in a minute. Some fresh broccoli. That'll be good. Just steam it up in this. I don't have a steamer, so I cheat. I put it in, put some water in the bottom of a two-quart saucepan and then throw a, uh, my screen strainer on top. Or put the stuff in the screen strainer. And I just throw a plate on top of it and I uh, steam it up like that. It works perfect. All right, well, I'll catch you guys when uh, when everything's done. Alright guys, there it is. There she is. All done. Smells really good. My wife's saying hurry, hurry, because she's starving and wants to eat it now. It's ten minutes ago she wants to eat it. The baked taters. Baked taters and the broccoli's just about done. Let's see. Hot, 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 hot. Yeah. I prefer it not quite cooked this much, but she wants it. Ooh, I steamed her up good. I prefer it cooked a little less than this, but the old lady likes it cooked well, so. Eh, that is what it is. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it and plate it. Alright, that's everything all together. Meatloaf, potatoes, meatloaf, potatoes, broccoli and cheese. Broccoli and cheese. And, uh, hey honey, are you hungry? Dude, if you don't turn off that dish camera, I'm going to eat that and the food. Now move. So, what you're saying is you want some of this. I think she wants it now. Okay, babe. So, you're putting me on there looking like this. Final word. Don't worry about what you look like. You're cute. Final word. How was the loaf? OMG. Yummy in my tummy. Yummy in your tummy? Hell yeah. Was the topping the best topping you've ever had on a meatloaf ever? The second time, yes.